Hello and welcome to O2 Blue Room. I'm here at Twickenham with the England fans. And this is O2 Inside Line Live after England just beat Italy. Come on, look at that. No expense spared. I'm Ayo Akimwaleri. This is Mo Hunt. And we are with these three wonderful gentlemen. Henry Arundel, ladies and gentlemen, big cheer. Yeah. Jack Van Borfleet, big cheer. And Freddie Stewart, big cheer. Yeah. Boom. Gentlemen, good to see you. You scrub up quite well. Very nice. Likewise. <laughs> now, look, we're just in civvies, man. Look, they put you in some amazing clubber. Honestly, fresh thoughts straight off the match. How are you feeling? Uh, yeah, feeling good, thank you. Um, obviously, it was much better today. Really enjoyed being out there, and um, yeah, it feels good to get a win, from, um, which we haven't had for a little while at Twickenham, so it feels good. Okay, I, te I tell you what, we've, we've, we've compiled two wonderful moments from the match, two wonderful tries from our perspective. We'd love it if we just played it out, you guys. Oh, they've already been given the notes, look at this. Let's try start this with Jack Willis's try. Talk us through this. Um, I mean, I'm not great. I don't quite know what goes on in a mall. So. <laughs> I can't help you. Never claim that. You've always got to blag it. I knew exactly what they were doing. It was brilliant. Um, Willis popped through. <laughs> Great try. <laughs> Great try. <laughs> so I've got an interesting one for you. So on that, there was a big discussion whether to go points or to kick corner for that first line out drive. Obviously, it worked. You got the try. But the crowd went wild. Like, we love to see it when you boys play. What was the conversation around that? Was it always going to be the case? I think we wanted to, we wanted to be really aggressive today. Oh. Uh, we wanted to You're be aggressive. Like we wanted to start well. Um, and so I think in the end, it was a very simple decision. We're in a good field position. We had a, a good set piece. The line-out was working for us. Um, so we just thought, let's have a go. And there's no better feeling as a back when you just see the big lads drive over. It's, it makes our lives very easy. Yeah, lovely answer, lovely answer. Let's see if we can do better for the second try, Henry. Step back. On, Talk us through this one. Go on, Henry. Go on. This is for you. Come on. Yeah. Um, the space was originally there, so I was calling <laughs> for it off me. <laughs> and then when I did call for it, all the defenders came round, so I thought I'd completely stitched them up, but he actually did quite a good job and got me the ball. Were you calling him to come back to the blind? Yeah, I was screaming for it, but then as soon as I did it, I think the Italian boys heard it, and then they all swung round as well. I thought, oh. Oh, I'm going to get battered here. Um, was, was there a point where you thought he'd gone too far and absolutely butchered it? I don't know. Mitch is quite good at that. I think yeah. he did it early in the week and messed up a bit. I mean, look, th th this was a, a really key match uh, in the Six Nations. Not the greatest start. So, uh, real talk, as players, do you feel that pressure coming out that you've got to perform for this one? That You know, at Twickenham and you want to put on a really good show for the fans? Uh, I think one thing I've learned from being around here for a, a short while is when you play for England, you expect there's pressure to win every game. Yeah. And when you when you play, when you're in the white jersey, when you're at Twickenham, you have a pressure that you're expected to win every game, and we expect to try and win every game. So um, yeah, we always feel the pressure, but we know, like Fred said, we really wanted to impose ourselves from this from the off uh, today. And I think um, yeah, I think we were pleased we did that. Um, but yeah, like I said, we always feel the pressure, so um, we're just glad we got the win this time. Yeah, yeah. That's amazing. And Henry, correct me if I'm wrong, your first time running out of Twickenham? Yeah, first time at Twickenham. I absolutely Come loved on. it. Like, just try and quantify it, try and put it into words, because obviously very few people get to run out in a home stadium in that white jersey in front of 81,000 people, so tell the crowd yeah, how I amazing mean, they are, basically. It may sound cliche, but you know, it's the biggest dream that you can ever have as a rugby player, as an English rugby player at least. And I think to sing that anthem with that bigger crowd was just incredible. And I had it in Oz, but obviously not as many English fans, but to do it with the full crowd was, yeah, one of the best moments. Decent. Did Guys, that's all for you, that is amazing. Did you have people, like family, friends, did people make the effort? With yeah, all, all my family were there, and I think my mum was crying by the end of it, so <laughs> it was quite nice for what, what, what is the conversation around ticket allocations? Because I'm sure everyone wants to come. If you're playing an international match at Twickenham, everyone wants to come. How do you cull the family? It's very difficult, especially <laughs> when you've got dads wanting to bring people, mums wanting to bring people. Uh, it's never easy. There's always some arguments, but it's great to have as many people down as possible. Amazing, amazing. 
think there was some heckling from the crowd. What was that? <laughs> we do. We love, we love you, Freddie. We love you, Freddie. Yeah, we'll get it going in a minute. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, just one for me. Obviously, we bigged you up pre-match on O2 Inside Line. We were looking at your drill in the week, Henry, about where you were going in and out around the pads. Unbelievable footwork, by the way. This one's for you, though, Freddie. How many times in training have you had a one-on-one -on -one with him and who wins? Because you're a very good defender in your own right. I think everyone knows the answer to that question. It's, it's Henry <laughs> 10 times out of 10, usually. I try and avoid that situation where I can. Uh, you don't want to be caught one-on-one -on -one with this man because he, he can make you look very silly. <laughs> That's very generous of him. I think he's definitely got me quite a few times. Yeah. That was like a humble brag. He's very generous, but yeah, he's right. Anyway, <laughs> let's, let's move it out. We've got a couple of questions here from... Uh, some of the guys out in the crowd. This one's from Jemmy Bricks, and this is for all, all three of you. What's your favourite thing about the sport? Oh, the beer. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> yes. yes. Um, I, don't, I wouldn't say, I mean, the beer's great. <laughs> Love a beer. Um, Consummate professional, of course. <laughs> no, I think, I think for me, being in a team, playing with your mates... Um, just whether it's win, lose or draw or whatever it is, you're playing with your mates, you're doing what you love. And I think the best part of the sport is the connections and friends you make and uh, the experiences you get to share on and off the pitch with all your mates. So that's what I love about it. Yeah, for me, it's, it's that when that final whistle goes, that kind of moment in the change room where you know you've done the job, that relief of that pressure throughout the week's gone and you know, all that hard work's paid off. And I think there's no kind of feeling like it. Yeah, very similar to, to Jack and Henry, I think. You know, the relationships you make in this sport, we're, we're very privileged to be able to do what we love and then, you know, come a game day to, to have the opportunity to, to come and play in front of you guys making all the noise. It's, uh, it's always special. Yeah, lovely, lovely. So, <laughs> he knows he, what he's he doing. He plays the crowd well. Well trained, this one. Plays well trained. <laughs> so, for those in the crowd, you guys have come up through age grade together, played, played club together. Do you love each other as much as it comes across? Yeah, we do. You do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they obviously do, because did you see Freddie's face then? He was gutted that he hugged Henry. Yeah, no, me and Jack have known each other since we were about five? Yes, five. Like that, yeah. We used to play against each other quite a bit. We didn't play on the same team until about 15, 16, so there was a bit of hatred <laughs> yeah. um, up until that point, but we're best mates now, I think. Can you just, how special is that to run out of one of your best mates? Oh, it's, it's incredible. Um, you know, like Jack said, you, you have some great relationships and you make some great mates, but to be able to do it with someone you've known for, for that long um, is always special. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. And to see you both smashing it up so much as well is class. So good Honestly, luck. gents, we could keep here all day, but I know you guys have to go. We actually have jobs. Uh, <laughs> but congratulations again for a fantastic win over Italy. Thank you very Thank much. You for joining us on O2 Inside Line Live. And also, don't forget to head over to all the social channels to see all the behind-the-scenes stuff from the England boys. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a good evening and have a drink on us, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you soon. Cheers, Mo. Cheers.